Welcome back. In today's video, we will see what is Salesforce Code Analyzer and how to set up it in VS Code and use it to scan our source code. So let's start. So Salesforce Code Analyzer is a VS Code tool which ensures you your code adapts to best practices, helping you identify problems earlier when you develop. So suppose you are planning to develop an App Exchange app and you already know that in order to pass the security review you your code uh, must meet some security standards so this st security standard can be checked using Salesforce code analyzer like when you write your code you will be able to see what are the issues with your code and then you can rectify it and then can submit the application for security review along with the Salesforce code analyzer report so let's see how to install it in our a system and use it so first of all you have to set up salesforce cli in your system this is the prerequisite so as you can see here to salesforce uh, set up salesforce code analyzer complete this prerequisite first of all you have to install java in your system the version should be version 11 or later after that you have to install salesforce cli because code analyzer is a salesforce cli plugin so you must install salesforce cli on your machine after doing this too, you have to run this command to install Salesforce Code Analyzer. This is the command you need to run in your terminal. Then you will be able to install it. Once the Code Analyzer is installed, you can also install uh, this plugin for VS Code, Salesforce Code Analyzer VS Code extension. This will help you check uh, the security issues without writing any command you can directly run the code analyzer and then you will be able to uh, check the uh, security issues so let's see it in action so i will open my vs code so first of all you have to install the salesforce code analyzer from terminal and after that you can go to extension and search for uh, salesforce code analyzer This is the extension which you need to install. I have already installed it. So you have to install this uh, extension. And now let's see how it can be used uh, to check the issues with our code. So you have to like whichever class you are working on, you have to open that class and right click and right click and then click on scan current file with code analyzer. Let's click on this and see what are the issues with this Apex class. And then we will rectify some of these issues. And if you don't know how to set up Salesforce CLI or create a SFDX project, then let me know into the comment box below so I can create a video on that as well. As you can see, there are a lot of issues with my code here. First of all, it is saying that Apex class should declare a sharing model if DML or SOQL or SOSL is used. So let's see what are the violations. I will open this link and it will help us how to resolve these issues. So here we have to like uh, write the sharing if the class is using the sharing or without sharing. So let me just uh, do it here public with uh, sharing save. Let's again uh, run the code analyzer and see if one of these issues is rectified or not. By the time it is uh, running, let's try to resolve this issue. Missing, as you can see that uh, that issue is rectified and now we are having only four issues. Missing apex doc command. So we are missing some comment on line number one. So it is the best practice to always have comments. So we have, we are missing the comment here. So let's write a comment. So first of all, I will write the description of this class, which is a contact controller. After that, I will write the author name. After let also write the date on which it is created. Zero eight. 
0.9.0.6.2.0.4 Let's save it and see if this uh, issue is resolved or not. Also, I have to run it. By the way, you can automate this uh, scanning process uh, by doing one setting which I will show later in this video. So by the time uh, the code analyzer is running, let's try to resolve some other issues. So now we are also having some problem with, as you can see that issue is also resolved and now we are having, uh, again we are missing some apex stock comment on line number 9. So let's write a comment for this uh, method, what this method is doing and what are the parameters it is expecting. Let me write. First, I will give the description. Uh, get context method is used to get all contacts. After that, uh, I will also write what this method is returning. So, returns list. Also, if some parameters are being used in this method, then we have to also specify at the right param at the name of the parameters. So it will be easy for some other developer to understand what this method is actually doing and what are the parameters it is expecting. So let's save it and see if it is working or not. Or also by the time it runs, let me show you what is the setting which I was talking about. So Salesforce Code Analyzer. Click on this setting icon and then click on extension settings and uh, name it. As you can see, scan files on save automatically. Enable this option. Also, you can enable this option as well. Scan files on open automatically. Whenever someone opens a file, the file will be scanned. So it will they will be able to see the issues. I am only enabling this option. Scan file on save automatically. Let me close this. Let's save it. Now it is saying date validate CRUD permission before SOQL DML. Let's open this one. It. So it is saying us to check for create update delete permissions or if we are able to access that object or not or we can use with security enforced enforced uh, clause in our SOQL. So let's use it in this SOQL as it is saying that in line number 15 we are having some for the let me write it here with security in post let's save it hope it is running you can see the issues are resolved one issue is remaining i don't let's save it run it once again So like you can see this is how you can use Salesforce code analyzer uh, to check issues with your code and rectify it before submitting your application for security review and in that way there are chances that your application will pass the security review and the application will be uh, like uh, be live on Salesforce App Exchange. So that's it in this video subscribe to my, my youtube channel and uh, comment the topics which you want me to record in future thank you very much